So here we are at a milestone, the 50th episode of Fearless in the Kitchen. I was trying to think of what I should do for that. Should it be something grandiose, fancy? But I've decided to go exactly the opposite. Enjoy. Sometimes you come home and you want something quick and easy and with basically almost no cleanup. So that's the time for a one pan meal. So I grabbed a couple of chicken thighs and then I just decided to check out the fridge in the pantry, see what I had. So I got a medium high kind of hot pan here. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in there. And what I found, I had a third of a red bell pepper. So in goes a third of a red bell, bell pepper. I uh, grabbed a small onion. I've always got onions around. Um, I've got uh, three cloves of garlic. That's another thing that's always around in my pantry. Uh, I was digging around. I found, I found some fennel. And what I had was I had fennel uh, stems and fronds that were there. So I said, what the heck? And, you know, I'll just, I said, I had a fennel bulb too, but I decided I was just going to use the, the fronds and the, and the stems. I uh, had a few tomatoes laying around. So chop up some tomato and a little bit of Thai pepper. So I got that going. We're just going to let that saute for a minute or so, get it started. Might add a little bit of salt here too, just a touch. I'm going to add more later. I'm going to put a little salt in there, let that saute up. Got my chicken thighs here, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. While that's cooking up, I'm going to cut these. I'm just going to have two of them. This, is a, a, this meal is enough for two people. So let's cut these up into bite-sized pieces. Just like that. And you can see I got my veg and everything just kind of working its way over there. Cut these up. I'm going to throw them in with the rest of my ingredients in just a minute while this is cooking up. All right. I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear that. So I just want to give them a little bit of a head start, but everything else has got to really cook anyway. I got the two cut up chicken thighs. I'm going to throw those in there too, get those started. Cooking up just a little bit. And uh, so I got that going. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some rice. Basically, this is a chicken with rice and beans kind of a one pot, one pan dish. So I'm going to put, throw the rice in. And I want to stir that around a bit, make sure I get oil on it. Got all the grains, coat them with the oil that's in here. Start it to cook. I've got a half of a cup of black beans. You could use chickpeas, you could use just about anything you want. I'm going to get those going too. Off the side. And I've got like just a half a cup of chicken stock. Now normally for like a half a cup of rice, I'd use close to a cup of chicken stock. But I have all those other ingredients there, and they have liquid in them too. So if I were to put a full cup in there, it'd be too much liquid. So I put a, a half a cup of rice, a half a cup of the, the liquid, <coughs> and the rest of what's in there is going to help it to cook. I have went out to the garden. Uh, chop, you know, just grab some rosemary, thyme, and sage, put them in a little <clears throat> pouch, made a little pouch for them. There's cheesecloth <clears throat> and some, just tied it up with twine. That sits in there. And now I'm going to add a little bit of salt, not too much, just like that. Hit it with some black pepper. And you know, basically, this is it. It's already starting to uh, bubble, so I want it to simmer. I don't want it to just keep boiling, so I will put a cover on it. I'll turn it down to low, medium low, put a cover on it. That's it. Um, it's basically when the rice is done, the dinner's done. So we'll come back and give it a taste in about 15 or 20 minutes. That's all it's going to take. Well, it's been 20 minutes, and it's done. Uh, all cooked up, the rice is perfect, it's looking nice. I'm going to take out the pouch with the spice or the herb, herbs in it. Take that out, we'll give it a taste. See how we got here. Need salt, it's not surprising. We try to be a little careful with the salt because again, it's something where we're going to evaporate water out of it. 
So you didn't want to go overdo it. That ought to do it just fine. And uh, there's your one your uh, one pot meal. It's delicious. It's got you know good flavor. It's got good ingredients in it. Lots of it's everything's in there. The veggies, the starch, the the protein, and you know, of course, I, I uh, when I did it, I had all, everything pre-cut and in little individual containers, but you wouldn't have to do that. Then you, would, you have to clean all those things. Just chop everything out on your board, put it all in the pan. This is the only thing that needs to be cleaned. So there you have it, folks. Chicken with rice and black beans, one pot meal.